guys welcome to my channel my name is Yolanda and today's video I'm gonna be doing my one year check-in of leaving the Mormon church so this video I've been waiting for since actually the beginning of this month I was like mm, I want to do it but I was like I want to wait to the one year mark but basically the one year mark was around May 17th and I remember I have recordings and videos of me just talking about it through myself and actually I don't like really li listen to them yeah but this is just like you know how things have been a year later and so, yeah. before you decide make sure this video a uh, big thumbs up make sure to subscribe down below and if I just go out of this video it's really crazy like how far like if you were to see me like a year ago like this is a picture of me a year ago and now look at me now like I am literally like glowing right now not to like sound like oh like pick me vibe like you know like no but like in actuality just like you came here for my story so i'm gonna say like how i really feel like i feel like i'm actually like thriving for once like i am pretty happy with my life i feel like if i had left the church like i would have so remained like a really sheltered and like self-absorbed person because that's who i was and i'm not proud of who i was but um so let me tell you how things ended off so basically um i when i left my church so we moved to a whole different like it's almost like a different school district but make it church way so if it's a school district think of the school so i moved to a different school but it's called like wards right and i cut off basically all my friends some of them tried contacting me like oh i miss you this and all like i miss you too like no like i just don't want to open up that wound again you know what i'm talking about so i'm just like i let them go because honestly like if I remain friends with them, it will remind me of the person who I was when I was with them, and that's not who I am anymore, and I don't associate myself with them. Like, I respect them and all that, but like, I don't see them or not, because I didn't respond back, I kind of ghosted them. But, besides that point, like, to a certain extent, I am not willing to sacrifice my mental health and happiness trying to maintain that friendship and opening up that big old moon you know currently where things are now actually like i'm still forced to like go to church and i used to have to go to seminary but then i started skipping a lot and i started failing and the teacher turned out to be i want to say potty word but let me keep it clean here and so that my mom was like okay we'll screw it basically and so i didn't even take the final test for it to be honest lord knows if she knows so what can she do i'm not gonna even graduate so um, not only that, but I'm so forced to like adhere by the for strength of you rules, for strength of you book, which is basically like a guideline for teens and all that. But do you mind? I'll let y'all figure that one out. But either way, the just like life has been great on the other side. Like at first, everybody was like, "Oh, this and that. Like you're gonna be miserable. You won't find happiness." I actually found myself and my self love. Like it's nice for once not having to rely on like literally old white men in suits telling me literally everything I can and can't do like who really said I can't date until I'm 16 years old like there's some people that literally met their first love like that saying that oh like I don't believe I'm part of that percentage of 3% of people because like the odds for me I don't know but the fact that like they have just so much power in their lives I thought this was about God like like how can we trust them that they can't be lied because literally like the founder of the church or who restored the gospel allegedly wrote a testimony about the whole incident 12 years after the fact who remembers that like i don't remember what i ate yesterday to be honest anyway that's besides the point so not having to rely on like other people in my way but just like learning things myself like for the most part a big concern for me with this whole change is like what will i do like where will i go but realizing that like how relationship means so much more better to me than actually going to church like i can go to church but it's just all for fun to be honest i only go to tequilas for food or for free clothes okay and not even for the people because once again i'm not associating myself as much as i can with more people now just wanted to clarify my point there is just like i just don't feel comfortable just like even going to church it's just like it's an ache for me and so even the people there it's like i just feel uncomfortable because it's like it just once again reminds me who i was before and that's not who i am and a lot of people just don't actually really even support me even switching over and leaving the church 
so it's like trying to separate myself a little bit there because there's only so much I could do so I feel like I have like for once like found out like what I like and what I want to do and if things that I do go wrong I can blame it on myself but for the most part just like knowing that like that's not what I want and it's okay to do something different because I feel like especially just for the long term it's just, just like oh it, this is the way and this is the only way but going this different route and like finding things on my own is much more just like it means more and I feel like I've really grown my relationship with the Lord too and um my coach actually had this really good quote that he used to always say and he still says it now but just not with us anymore but it was like when you have success like in running or just like I guess in general just like in one or two small areas of your life you can see it follow with the other aspects of your life as well um so i've been seeing success in a lot of things especially with my grades first of all um a lot better than freshman year and i'm gonna feel this a little bit more better i haven't seen a lot of success and just like and like my mental health it's really been boosting my spirituality like my connection has grown tremendously like the lord is literally my best friend like we look inseparable at this point um and then just like success of like youtube and all that like it's giving me strength to make videos because this stuff gets exhausting sometimes but i still love it and find the passion there and then most importantly it has helped me in my success in running i ran and i got third at county i won my region race for 800 and i peered big by roughly 20 seconds this whole season in 800 meters we're in a sectionals like qualify as fourth or fifth and then a state that i ran and i got dead last but I, the fact that i ran a state still that's what counts in my four by 18 we got second place like the lord has blessed me in so many areas of my life and like okay in that area of my life really in running and it has literally just like affected me all right and i'm so grateful for it and that's the thing like just like I feel like I would have never been as close if I never had went through this and sometimes I'm just like why can I could, could I have not been born in this like family so I wouldn't have to be like a part of this church and all that but I feel like this really shaped me and like helped me like it's developed me to the person I am today and I kind of like myself a lot like I've been learning to like self love more and just like recognizing this like accepting myself for who I am and all my imperfections and all that stuff like that like I've been starting to like really like love myself and i feel like i would have never been as strong and as intelligent and as you know driving and as the determination and hustle within me i would have never had it if i never had to go through all these experiences in my life that have been really rough and so yeah um so i guess in a way like i i'm living i'm here like i've made it and who knows what the future holds but this is my one year um, anniversary of being in the church and I couldn't be any happier this is one of the best decisions of my whole entire life and I don't regret it it wasn't a one day decision and every day this whole the year leading up to today it's like consciously I had the decision and there's sometimes we're like low-key can be tempted to get back to my comfort zone and be back in church but for the most part it's just like this is what I really want and I'd rather have a strong relationship than um, be miserable in the church and so yeah, in a way, this is a shun the church, but at the same time, it's just like my personal opinion. So uh, whether or not you respect it or not, it's up to you. You're watching my video. Thanks for the views, though. <laughs> and so yeah, I hope you have a nice day. Peace and out.